All right. In this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your models and import models in your iX14. So the first thing you do is short click or tap on the model name that's currently active and then long press or click on proceed. And click on all models so that you can see all of them. And then click the three dots. And to export them, click export models. And let's pick a couple of models to export instead of doing all of them. It takes a lot longer to do all of them. So there's two methods for exporting the models. You can save them to disk which is the SD card or the internal memory of the iX14, which those two are the simplest ways. And then export sends the uh, model files to Google Drive through the internet, which you have to set up a Google account and make sure you use a separate Google account for your transmitter. Don't combine your transmitter with your personal stuff on Google Drive. So let's do the easy way first. Let's save the disk. And this is the internal storage here. So we'll click the three dots. And then we'll click the iX14. And that's as far as we can go here. Click on the three lines up here to back up further. Now you can see the SD card and the internal memory of the iX14. So we'll pick the SD card. And then it's telling you you can't use the root folder or the root of the drive. You need to create a folder or pick a folder that already exists. So simple way is just to create a folder called backups. If this folder doesn't already exist, click this uh, icon up here with the folder shape and the plus and it'll let you create a folder. So since this is already here, I'm gonna select it and then I'm going to say use this folder. And then you have to tell it to allow it to access it. So now we have the storage and then this is the identifier for the SD card and then the folder name backup. So we'll click select. We're ready to go. All right, so those should be backed up now. So to import them, click on import. And we're looking at the SD card and backups. It remembers the last place where you save files. So if you scroll down, you see the two models here. Uh, you might want to click this to show it in a different format. You can see more of them on the screen at one time. There's going to be a lot of scrolling to this. There always is an iX14. The screens don't show everything uh, on the screen at one time. So, so you have to scroll some. But let's say we want to import the P51, or not the P51, the AJ Slick 51 inch. Uh, if we click on it, It'll simply import it. Now, there's already one here, right there. That's the original. But if you scroll down to the end, the ones you import are going to be tacked onto the bottom. Now, you can click on this model and rename it. Uh, you may have to activate it to rename it. I can't remember. Yep, you do. You have to activate it and go back up and now you can rename it. Um, of course, when you click on that, and I, I'm saying clicking because uh, I'm operating my iX14 through my computer. Uh, the iX14 screen is on my monitor and I'm using the mouse and keyboard to um, operate the transmitter. So, so now we've got a second model. 
So that's all there is to exporting and importing if you do it to the SD card. Uh, you can only import one model at a time. So now let's um, pick two different models. And we'll save the disk. And then we'll go to three buttons and we'll back up. And to go further back or to the top, you have to click the three lines. Now we can pick the internal memory. And you can't use the root of any drive. So you have to use a folder. And I don't remember if my transmitter had a folder named backups on it or not. If it doesn't, then just click this little folder thing up here and make it. Um, so it says backups and we want to click use this folder and of course you have to say allow and when i click select it will use the local memory the, the internal memory of the ix14 and it's saving it to the disk and if i want to import it um, it's uh, IX14 means the internal memory and backups is the folder name and then here are the two files. So you can only import one at a time so you pick one and it's imported. If you scroll to the bottom there it is. So it's real easy to back it up to an SD card or the internal memory because it's a simple save to a local drive or local disk. But to export to Google Drive, it's a little more complicated. So we'll pick um, these two and we'll say export. All right, now now we're trying to go through the internet using Google Drive. And of course, you have to have your Wi-Fi connection enabled and working. And so you look for the Google Drive icon. Click it. And here's the files that it's going to back up. And the account. This is a temporary account I made. And then you got the folder My Drive. Uh, if you click the back arrow, you can see that my Google account has my drive, which is cloud backup only, although you can set it to where it syncs to your to a folder on your computer. And then I've got one called computers. If I click it, I've got this folder named for my computer. And then I've got a folder called Lens IX14. So I can back up models to this folder. Um, but to have this uh, computers folder or have my Dell under computers, I had to install the Google um, Drive app for Windows, um, which lets me pick a folder on my hard drive to synchronize to Google Drive. It takes a little bit of doing. Um, so now the Google Drive is just cloud backup, uh, but it can be synchronized to your PC. But to use it, you pick the folder and it only takes one click. And uh, see, it says select destination. Well, if I click select, it's going to pick Lens IX14. Well, that's not how I want to back up my models. I want to keep multiple backups of my models and what I do is I make a folder and name it for the date and today's the 29th already and so now the de destination is 2024-05-29 so if I click select this is what I'm selecting now if I don't want that I click the back arrow and I keep going back and uh, so it just takes one click to make it enter the folder instead of two. 
if you're used to using a PC, then using Google Drive on the iX14 takes half as many clicks. But anyway, so this is going to be my destination. So I click select. Now it's going to show you what it's going to do. It's saving to the drive these two files under this account and in that folder. And if that's what you want, you click save. And now it's uploading. Of course, it hadn't done it yet. It's just preparing and doing it in the background. Now, if you want to import either one of those, you go to import and see now it's showing the internal memory of the iX14, which is not where I want to be. And there's the SD card. Now here's Google Drive all the way down here. You have to do some scrolling to get down to the Google Drive. You pick my drive. Let's see. Yeah, it looks a little better maybe if you change the format from icons to table. We click that once and there's that folder I created. And then here are the two models. So if I click this one, it's importing it. And if you scroll to the bottom, there it is. So anyway, the SD card's the easiest. Uh, the internal memory, you know, it, it might get wiped out and you'll lose them if you put them there. Uh, you can access the internal memory by hooking your iX14 up to a PC using the USB cable and it shows up as a drive in uh, Windows Explorer and you can go to the folder, the backup folder and copy the models out of there. Uh, you can manipulate it just like it's a drive. Um, but the SD card's the easiest and uh, most reliable and Google Drive is a little harder and then setting up um, your computer under um, the computer icon in uh, Google Drive is even more difficult. So that may be more than you want to attempt to do. Anyway, that's all I got tonight. Hope that helps.